In this video, what we're gonna do is share with you how you can create a digital business card. Let's get started. We're gonna go right on over to the left, click on the bullhorn that says marketing, and then the drop down that says websites. Once you do, you're gonna to come to the top here and click on add new. And this is the part that can get tricky here. So we're gonna go down to the bottom and say, nah, I wanna build it myself. So you don't need to fill out anything here. Just go to the section that says, nah, I wanna build it myself. Now there's a bunch of website templates that you can choose from. You can start with a blank template. We have a ton here. If you're interested in building your own website, but you can also see at the bottom, it says digital business card. So you're gonna go ahead and click on that. Now we're gonna fill out this form to create a new website. We don't need a business profile here. We do need a website name. Maybe you can give it your own name. It's your digital business card, but since we're doing a demo, I'm just gonna say something like demo DBC, and then I'm gonna add some numbers here. Okay, so for my website URL, I'm actually gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna add a few numbers here since this uh, is it my actual digital business card? Once I'm done, I would recommend for your website URL, just use your name, right? It's your digital business card. You would use like uh, CherylCoco.now.site as an example. Click to submit. And you can see the template for your digital business card automatically come up and you can change and customize it however you'd like. So I'm gonna click on it here. And what happens is I can change the image at the top to my own image. So I'm gonna go to the section that says change image, of course. And I'm gonna delete the image that's there. And I'm gonna show you what it's like to upload your own image. So I'm gonna click on upload. And I already have it in here, but let's do it um, as if I did not. So I'm gonna click on select. And then you can see my folder here. So I'm gonna choose it again and click to open. And it's gonna be added into the My Images section. We're just gonna see it twice because I've already uh, added this image. But I'm gonna select it click to edit image. Now make sure you can see this part, okay? You're gonna scroll down or maybe zoom out from your computer if you need to, because we need to find this add button at the bottom here in order to add this image. This is super important, okay? You don't wanna miss your name. And I'm gonna put Cheryl Coco, my title, VP of Marketing. And I'm just gonna delete the bio from here. And then you would add your uh, phone number, you would add your email address, you would add whatever information that you wanna put on your digital business card in these areas. Now, let's say you didn't have WhatsApp. You can just select it and delete it, and the icon here will disappear, okay? Let's say you didn't have, I don't know, Twitter. We're gonna delete it, and the icon disappears, so no problem there. If you wanna change the style of the background from this green, you can click on the style section. And then you're gonna click on button attributes and you can change that solid color to whatever it is that you like. I'm gonna go for more of a like, like purplish look. I'm gonna copy the hex code here for later. And I like it like this, so I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna scroll down to my section at the bottom and click on OK. This add to contacts button I leave alone because on mobile, if someone clicks on it, they can immediately add all of my contact information to their cell phone. So leave that add to contacts. Where it says sign up here, you can edit or change this info if you'd like, maybe put sign up for my newsletter, or you can just delete it all together if you don't have anything that someone needs to sign up for just by clicking on that section and delete. But otherwise, if you wanna change the button color here, 
right? I'm going to go back to style and then button attributes. I'm going to go to that green. And remember, I copied that purple color, right? So I'm going to paste it there just so that everything matches. And I'm going to click on OK. And once I'm happy with my digital business card, I can click on save. Now I want to show you one other thing here that I think is really important to saving that digital business card. I go to my website settings over here to the super simple to do. That's how you create your digital business card. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.